Ken Bone, the breakout star from Monday night's primetime presidential debate. Bone's unassuming charm, that cozy red sweater, quickly catapulting him to internet stardom after he raised a very important question to the candidates about energy policy and jobs. Ken Bone is joining us now from St. Louis. Ken, thanks for being with us. Peter, thank you very much for having me. I'm glad to be here. So you're now an internet sensation. The New York Times calls you America's new sweetheart. How are you handling your newfound fame? Well, I feel really bad for America's last sweetheart, whoever that may be. Uh, it's a hard day when you're replaced by me. So walk me through this. Your Twitter handle, for, your official Twitter handle is what? Because there are others. I am at KenBone18, uh, number at Ken one, Bone number 18. eight. There are so other better striking, ones, but they're not me. What's striking about that is that before the debate, as I understand it, you had seven Twitter followers. We checked in the last commercial break. You are now just shy of 100,000 Twitter followers. Well, uh, that's ridiculous, but thank you very much for checking. Uh, yeah. I, all I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to hang <laughs> on to all my Twitter followers and just try to encourage them to get out the vote up until November. And then after the election cycle, it'll probably be back to stupidness, me taking pictures of my cats and my kids. And if you want to unfollow <laughs> me then, then I'm afraid that's what you'll have to do. Well, we'll just see. I think people are going to stick with you for the long haul at this point. Give me a sense, though. I know you've had a little more time to sleep on it. Are you still undecided in this election? I'm more undecided than I was before, Peter. I, the, the big issue is that uh, Donald Trump represents my industry, the coal industry, probably in a more positive light than Hillary Clinton. Uh, I would have more career opportunities and I'd be better to take care of myself and my family under Donald Trump. But with a Supreme Court vacancy uh, that Donald Trump could possibly fill, there is a great risk that we could lose some of the rights that we fought so hard for, for marriage equality, for, the, for voting rights, that we're trying to extend real equality to all Americans, and to risk losing any of that uh, really gives me pause. So it's kind of my self-interest versus the community interest, and I think a lot of Americans are in that same place. Have you heard, of either the, have you heard from either of the campaigns since the debate? Did either reach out to you? I have not heard from either campaign, at least I don't think I have. I have several hundred Facebook messages I haven't got to. But <laughs> You're gonna have to go uh, I'm this. not going to be doing any press for either campaign. I'm happy to do uh, as much media as people need me to, uh, to talk about the process and talk about getting people out to vote. But I, uh, uh, I am willing to state that I will not endorse either candidate, and you will not hear me saying who I'm going to vote for before the election is over. If you hear that, it's not me. So one of the shots that we saw that was so striking was you snapping photos with a disposable camera. I'm not even sure you can still develop the film in those things anymore. What's the I backstory sure on that? Well, uh, they, we weren't allowed to have any electronic devices all day. I had to leave my cell phone locked up in my car, and we were there from 8 a.m. Central Time till the debate was over at about 10 <laughs> p.m. Central Time. Uh, and not being able to take any pictures with digital media for such an incredible experience is tough. So the Commission on Presidential Debates uh, that ran the, the debate and takes care of all that, uh, they were kind enough to give us all disposable cameras so that we could at least have some keepsake photos. What was striking is just the memes that now exist out there about Ken Bone. There you are. We'll show it to our audience right now. Crossing the Delaware with George Washington. There are more than you can even imagine online right now. But it's that red sweater that I'm certain is going to be a hot commodity this Halloween. What was the backstory on that sweater? That wasn't going to be your original go-to in front of a national audience. What happened? Well, Peter, I think the sweater is more famous than I am. It's just that I have to carry it to these interviews. Uh, the, the back story was I had this really nice suit that I had picked out. My grandfather really loved it before he passed away. Uh, he said it looked great on me. So I thought, man, it'd be nice to wear the suit that Grandpa liked so much since I'm going to be on national TV with the candidates. Uh, but apparently since Grandpa passed away, I've gained a pretty good amount of weight. <laughs> and when I went to get in my car, I tore the seat out of my pants. And so now I have a, an extremely shredded pair oh, of lovely suit pants. Well, America's got a beautiful red sweater, and I'm guessing everybody's going to be rushing to their local Kohl's to try to get a hold of their own. Ken, it's great to speak with you. Congratulations on a well-delivered question uh, at the debate Sunday night. Uh, thanks very much. Everybody, please get out and vote. The registration deadlines are coming up. And let's get at Ken Bone 18 up to 100,000 uh, followers if we can. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.